So the bite on the last trip was so good, I decided to come back three days later and try my luck. This is a short video, but some good catches in here, so I hope y'all enjoy it. Got one, and this one's a good one. Dang, he's all over the place. He's decent, probably about a 10 incher, but that's actually pretty good cons compared to the other ones I've been catching today. Seems like they're, they've all been small. All right, so that fish came out of about eight foot deep water and I was about six feet down. So that's another pattern that, um, that I've noticed today is the, the bigger fish tend to be in that deeper column of water. Like they, they're almost on the bottom. Let's see if there's any more here. Well, just one fish out of this one spot. Getting more bites, but I think they were smaller because they kept on getting off, slipping out of their mouth. But that's uh, what I've been doing is just um, finding these uh, these multiple pilings or these uh, double pilings and um, and thoroughly working around the whole thing because you never know, it might be on the outside, might be on the inside, might be shallow, might be deep. You don't know unless you try. Just by having a, um, a narrow-minded um, idea of where they're going to be, uh, you may pass up on a lot of good fish because I've caught random fish out of, out of places where I didn't think that they would even be so you gotta you gotta use a lot of trial and error and um, and not just stick to one strategy and another go Over the place. Jeez. That was in only about four and a half feet of water. Um, right in between those pilings. My my um, theory is, see, right down in there is where he was. What I'm thinking is they're getting in between these pilings because there's so much current and um, they're getting a little bit of a, a break from the current um, getting in the middle of those things because uh, the current is coming through pretty good but they're, I think that's what they're doing is they're just sitting in between them because it's kind of blocking it so I'm gonna try to try to do that again okay like I was saying I think he hit it when it hit the bottom so it hit the bottom went slack and that's whenever he hit it so seems like that's especially all the good ones that's where they're feeding at is is down on the bottom and compared to three days ago whenever I came out here um, the bite has been a lot slower and um, a lot trickier today seems like seemed like the other day they were just second that you put it in the water they were going after it today it's a little bit different and um, 
the other day it didn't really matter what um, what depth you had it at today it's like they're a little bit deeper down and I almost didn't uh, record today because I thought that maybe they just weren't gonna gonna be doing it but um, seems like they've as the day has gone on they've started to bite a little bit better so maybe so I decided to go ahead and uh, wrap up the video footage right there. Uh, probably caught about half a dozen fish today, so it wasn't bad. Hey guys, if you found this video helpful or even entertaining, go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button and even the bell notification. That way you can be notified of my future videos. Thanks.